who would want to see the minutes of that meeting which resorted to the decision that our leadership should be changed. We would want to see. Was it a decision taken by an individual or two people? Was it taken at FEC? My understanding is that FEC is meeting today. FEC is meeting today to take a decision on a matter that they have already taken a decision on. And I see a disrespect, not just to the leadership of our caucus, but a direct disrespect to us as a caucus. Nobody consulted us. Who told you that the people you are choosing for us will be comfortable with them as our leaders outstanding individuals i don't have any problem with those who have been chosen as leaders or who are supposed to be made i don't have any problem they're all my comrades outstanding individuals but the question is have we told you that we are dissatisfied with the kind of leadership we have have we told you if there is any member of parliament who has actually told our leadership or some of the executive that they are dissatisfied with them they should be bold enough to speak out do we need this at this material moment if we sincerely and genuinely want President Mahama to win the elections for 2024, if we sincerely and genuinely want to win these elections for the good people of this country, these 2024 elections we are going into, it is not just about the NDC. It is about salvaging this country. This country is in the quagmire. Look, Honorable Haruna is the most experienced member of parliament today, except Honorable Kretu Savoka. Tell me, this is 20 years. Honorable Aveji, one of the most experienced, Honorable Mutaka, one of the most experienced members of parliament. In any case, look at the MPP from bench. I'm not saying that you necessarily need to be a lawyer to be able to lead a parliamentary caucus. But you necessarily need a lawyer within the front bench. Now, you need experience. That's, that's the most important thing. I mean, Honorable Chairman Sabunsu is not a lawyer, a very experienced member of parliament. Honorable Haruna Idrisu, very experienced. Honorable Aveji, very experienced. Honorable Mutaka, very experienced. Now, you are taking away these most experienced people and bringing in. I'm not saying the others are not. But in comparison with those you are taking away and those you are bringing, they are the most experienced brains within the caucus. This decision is untimely. It is not the best thing for the party at this material moment. It is going to cause division within the ranks and file of our NDC caucus in parliament.